Okay, now, oh, am I getting audio? Okay. So, take three. I'm sitting here at 3 a.m. with my Superstar Essential Vlogging Kit that I purchased at Walmart. Um, I think I've mentioned in previous videos that almost everything you see on YouTube, they're really pushing very hard um, for the content creators to be at a certain level. It's almost like you have to be Steven Spielberg Jr. Most of the creator courses, they're really emphasizing the use of cameras, the use of lightings, the use of multiple cameras and multiple techniques. Like you almost have to be Steven Spielberg Jr. in order to um, get your content up to a point where you can meet their requirements for monetization. I've prattled on and on in the past about how before the evil conglomerate of YouTube um, was the, the loving, benign, what used to be family-oriented YouTube that was purchased by the evil corporate entities of Google. And there were a lot of creators. Um, I give uh, Comic Book Girl 19 a lot of credit for being one of the first to say, I'm already seeing bad trends. They're already announcing changes. They're going to make it impossible for the little guy to make money. And the only way you're going to be able to make money on this platform is if you have tons of resources, like, like a company, and essentially become a small film or TV studio. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to make any money at all. And they're really going to push the little guy out. And over the next um, 16 months, she was absolutely right. One that impacted me particularly was um, I was at a point where I had all of the uh, features of YouTube unlocked uh, prior to the acquisition. So they slowly started taking away features um, unless you met certain requirements. So I saw my feature set slowly starting to whittle away. In addition to that, um, I understand that it's expensive for large companies to make transactions where they pay people. Um, banks charge fees. So it used to be that um, if you had um, made, let's say, $20 in your YouTube advertising, they would pay you finally when you hit the $20 threshold. Well, as soon as um, Google took over, they kept increasing that threshold. They'd make an announcement. It's no longer $20, you have to make $50. It's no longer $50, you have to make $100 before we'll pay off. It's no longer $100, you have to make a minimum of $250. When they made that last announcement, they did send out, and I've saved it, it's, it's on one of my multiple computers floating around here, an announcement saying that although we've increased these um, cutoffs, we guarantee that everyone will get paid. Well, they later rescinded that, and I never got paid. I think I was due like $181. They came out with a memo that said, you all agreed to the terms of service, even though we made this announcement. We've changed the terms of service, and now you're not going to get paid unless you're over whatever the cutoff was. So if you think about all of the millions of people that were on YouTube that had earnings that were under that cutoff, how many tens of millions of dollars did YouTube slash Google basically steal from their content creators and put directly into their pockets after they'd promised to give the people that money? So it's just really disappointing. I've also mentioned this before. Um, a lot of these successful small channels these days, they're not even small. Uh, if you look at somebody like Answers with Joe, you know, he's admitted that he's got camera people that help him out. He's got a writer that helps him out. And in some of his behind the scenes footage where you see him interviewing like a scientist or someone else, you know, there's cameras and lighting and it's, it's just ridiculous. Um, so in an effort to try to, to keep up, to someday get to the point where I can monetize, I bought this kit. I've got the light diffuser on. Um, I'll take a quick look at what this microphone rig looks like with the lighting. I think it's it's pretty good. 
Um, again, for $38, the ad that was running directly after the YouTube Creator course is for an LCD panel, a smart LCD panel, um, that's $59 by itself. So, um, you know, I've been buying audio video gear for close to a decade now um, to get a, a decent quality stereo mic, uh, as well as the tripod. Um, there's features I'm not even using, like a US, like a uh, Bluetooth remote. And then the sweating kit, all for $38, I think is a real, real value. So not only am I bitching about my life and how much I hate Google and what they've done to YouTube, but this essential vlogger kit, man, this 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 is a no-brainer. If you can just walk to your local Walmart, I don't know if they have it online, um, but my local Walmart in Antioch, Illinois, I had like three or four of these on the shelves. Boom, I, I grabbed it. If I had tried to purchase, you know, the panel, um, the little uh, tripod, and then the mic separately, this easily would have been several hundred dollars. Okay, enough of me bitching about my horrible life. Thanks for listening, or perhaps not. Take care.